I literally was not planning to have this conversation in this vlog. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's vlog because we are going to be doing just like the start of a major get your life together. I am turning 28 in a few weeks. I'm turning 28 at the end of July and I have just felt since coming home from vacation, I went for two weeks away in June and since coming back, I've just felt this urge to kind of give my life like a mini makeover before my birthday and then at the beginning of my birthday just to kind of I don't know I just want to be the best version of myself as I turn 28 for me my birthday just kind of feels like another little mini new year's so the same way that I tend to get around new year's with like goal setting and kind of life makeover vibes I also feel that way in the middle of the year in the middle of the summer on my birthday my birthday is July 30th and I'm a Leo in case anyone is wondering so we have a few weeks to get ready and I just thought I would kind of make a little mini series out of this in case you also want a little life makeover in the middle of the summertime or winter if you're in the southern hemisphere. In case anyone is new, my name is Zoe. I'm 27, about to turn 28, and I live in Montreal. I have so much good stuff in store for this vlog, so why don't you give the video a little like, just in anticipation of all the good stuff that is to come. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you are subscribed. It really supports my channel. We are so close to 60k subscribers i think we're like 500 subscribers away so if i could hit that for my birthday that would like mean the world to me so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet you could also follow me over on instagram and we are going to get in to this video when i was younger like high school and university age i used to do these little life makeovers all the time i would go to the store and i would buy a new journal or i would do some diy project change things up in my bedroom change things up in my apartment and it always felt so good and i think I feel like as we get older, we might tend to get a little bit cynical. And I started to feel like, you know, as many times as you want to do a life makeover, you're still yourself and certain things don't change or certain things take a long time to change. And I feel like I got a negative attitude towards that life makeover. Because when I was younger, I would just wish I was a completely different person, but that's a whole other story. I'm not looking at this life makeover like that. I'm not trying to become someone else. I'm pretty happy with who I am. I've been this person for pretty much 28 years now, but I just want to kind of clean up my life so that I can go into 28 feeling free and seamless and feel like I'm moving towards my goals, whatever they may be. So this is just gonna be a really fun, lighthearted life makeover. We will see how many vlogs this takes up, but I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments if you are doing this along with me. For today's video, we have so much good stuff in store. We're gonna go do a workout. We're gonna go to Ikea, which I'm so looking forward to because the first step of my life makeover is to really get my home and get my space organized because it is so cluttered. I will show you guys when we get back home, but I just feel like it's kind of been blocking me I like to have as clean of a space and as tidy and as organized of a space as possible I feel like just being organized really helps set us up for success and my house has been feeling a bit all over the place lately so we'll talk about that later but I do want to thank blue land for sponsoring this video they are the perfect sponsor for this getting our life together home edition. I am so excited to be working with Blue Land on today's video because they combine some of my favorite things, cleaning, cute stuff, and a healthier and better choice. These are cleaning products. Can you believe it? They literally look like makeup or something. Like they're so cute. So Blue Land makes cleaning products that are refillable. They are free of single use plastics and they are free from a bunch of nasty chemicals, including parabens and bleach. They sent me their toilet cleaner as well as their laundry detergent to try. And both of these are in tablets. So let me show you. This is a tablet for cleaning your toilet. You just drop it in the toilet, it fizzes up and then you scrub and flush and it works so well. And here we have the laundry detergent tablets. It's the same thing, you just pop it in your laundry machine. And these work super hard to remove stains, keep your whites bright and even remove grease stains. I love discovering a new brand or a new cleaning product because it just makes me feel extra motivated to clean. I know that sounds silly, but when you find something that works, not to mention you feel good about using it in your home and it's a better choice for the environment, 
and it looks this cute to me it's just an all-around win so i was so excited when blue land reached out i filmed my unboxing for you guys so basically they come in paper packages that you then put into these refillable tins and these tins are so cute so then when you run out instead of having to buy another plastic jug that takes so much space in your home is not so great for the environment and let's be real is really ugly you order a new refill pack and just refill your little tins Mulan makes so many different products i have the little catalog here they make hand soap glass cleaner multi-surface cleaner and they all come if it's a spray it comes in a beautiful aesthetic bottle and all of their products are effective and affordable if you guys want to try blue land i will put my discount code down below i also have a qr code that you can just scan on the screen and from now until the 21st of july you guys can get up to 25 percent off your order celebrating plastic free july with blue land summer sale this video is all about organizing and tidying and spending time at home and that is such an important part of me feeling like I'm organized and feeling like I have my life together. So Blue Land was the perfect partner for this video. And I love introducing you guys to brands you can feel good about. And when they're this cute, like, come on. It's Thursday morning and you guys may know where I am. I don't know if you can see, we're in a parking lot. Uh, I'm at Rockland. I'm about to go teach a bar class, but I wanna do my own little workout before because when I'm teaching a class, I do get a workout in, but I don't do the entire workout because like I'm walking around, I'm checking on people, I'm like coaching more so, so I'm not doing the entire workout. So I like to go in a little bit early whenever I can and practice the class, go through the moves myself, and then that kind of serves as my own workout. But I also need to build the class. So we're gonna head in. There's a really nice food court here at the Rockland Mall. So I'm just gonna sit down. I made a tea at home. So we're gonna go sit down, build the class, and then we'll get a little workout in. that class was so fun however i'm like okay i literally was not planning to have this conversation in this vlog but i guess it's fitting because it's like pre-birthday thoughts life makeover <clears throat> but i'm just like i'm randomly feeling like really existential <laughs> And I don't, I don't really know like what prompted this. Okay, first of all, I need to catch my breath because I just gave my everything for 45 minutes. I've been feeling very lost career-wise recently. I felt like I wanted to take a step back from copywriting. And so I kind of took like a half step back. But then recently I've just been enjoying it and like wanting to do more and it's been my most stable source of income. Uh, so then I've kind of like put myself back, like like the step I took, the step back that I took, I've kind of retaken it forward. And then YouTube, like it's just my passion. Like I feel there's been times where I've made like really, really great income off of YouTube. And it feels like, oh my gosh, like I'm in it, like good, this is my job. And then there are months where like right now and like this summer, where income wise it's just not paying the bills but it's not something that I want to stop doing because this was a hobby for me before it was a job like it was a hobby and a passion and when you can monetize those things and you can make a living doing what you love like then that's fantastic but it's not the kind of thing where it's like oh I'm not making as much money as I used to like I'm out like it's it's not like that at all and it is very time consuming and 
I don't think that just because it's slow right now means it's going to be slow forever either. So I'm like, okay, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a copywriter. And then whenever I teach bar, I am like so in it. I'm so in love with it. And like, I kind of want that to be my career. And I think about getting a Pilates training certification and teaching Pilates as well. And like putting that more on my schedule. And I was just teaching the class and I was like, damn, like I want to do more. I've been subbing a lot, like I've been teaching a lot of extra classes, which is why it's been feeling more like my career where, like, and not like my full career, but it's been feeling like more of like a real job than just like a side hustle that I do once a week, like how it was when I started. Last week, I taught eight classes, this week, uh, five. However, I'm looking forward and I'm seeing next week and I'm back down to my four. And then one of my classes, like it just hasn't been performing well. And I honestly think it got canceled last week, actually. I'm sure it's going to get canceled again this week. And I feel like they're just going to end up taking it off the schedule. And then I was getting all sad about that. And that is what led to this like existential feeling of like, okay, but like, what do I want to do? Like, do I, am I a bar teacher? Am I a copywriter? Am I a YouTuber? Like, what am I doing <laughs> career wise? And like, I can't do it all as much as I want to do it all. And I like doing it all. There's only so many hours in a day and I'm trying to not be so stressed and not be so overwhelmed and not be so obsessed with productivity. So it's like, I need to, oh my gosh, there's a girl from my class. I need to hide my camera. <laughs> they don't know about my alter ego. I guess I'm just feeling like I need to make a decision about like, what do I want to prioritize? Because unfortunately you can't prioritize it all. You have to make decisions in life and I don't know like what to pick. And I think I need to, because it's like, okay, do I want to do more copywriting or do I want to go and pursue a Pilates training certification and try and teach more? Like, what do I want to do? I think I need to do some journaling and do some reflecting on that because I do get myself in situations where I try and do everything. And I'm sure I'm not alone in that. Like, I'm sure some of you guys maybe do that too, where like you pick up a side hustle and then you pick up a side hustle from your side hustle. Like I have friends that do that. You know who you are if you're watching. <laughs> and I think it's so good to be driven. I think it's a wonderful quality. However, we have to remember to live our lives too and not be so caught up with work. So I have some thinking to do. Um, those are my unexpected rambles of this video. <laughs> Let's drive to Ikea. You guys, I am, okay, I'm here, Ikea is there. This is one highway away from each other, like very, very close. I am allegedly 25 minutes away. This should be a 10 minute drive at most. Look at this. The traffic in this city is so bad and it's making me like almost not wanna go, but it's the only time I can go and <laughs> now I'm annoyed. Maybe I have to go get a coffee for the road. And this is why there's 10 minutes of traffic on this freaking highway, so. Ew, and there's no good way around. It's either traffic there or traffic there. So I guess let's just go. Can you guys see the flags? <laughs> we made it. All right, we made it to Ikea. I'm so happy to be here. It was a treacherous drive, but I'm so ready to go in there. There's something about an Ikea trip and just buying, I'm not here to buy furniture, I'm here to buy like little organizer things because there are so many areas in my house that, house, apartment, that need organization and I just feel like once these little areas are contained, it's going to be such a weight off of my shoulders. It's really hot in this car, so I'll tell you guys more about what I buy when I get home. We'll do like a haul and I'll tell you guys like why and I'll show you guys the problem spots and we'll like install everything. It's going to be so fun, but I just feel like there's something so life makeover about a trip to Ikea and I haven't been to Ikea by myself in almost 10 years and it was a traumatic experience the last time I came. It was like horrible. I was telling JS the story this morning. I'll just tell you guys quickly because I think like now I can laugh about it but basically it was the summer in between first year of university and second year. I had just moved out to an apartment because I was living in the dorms. Moved to an apartment with Camilla and she was gone. I think she was like traveling with her family and I, I remember her being gone like quite a bit that summer and I was just so depressed i was so lonely first year of university was really hard for me so it was just like coming off that hard year we lived we were like we had no money um and we were renting the most horrible basement apartment on decary in montreal if you know um there were like no windows it was so depressing our landlord was a freak like it was everything was just so bad about this and we didn't have a couch so we chose a couch i think we went to ikea together and chose this couch but then when she was gone, I like needed something to do. So I decided to go to Ikea by myself to like 
by the couch. It was the most uncomfortable couch in the world. It was like absolute cheapest couch Ikea has. If they have it still, I'll show you guys. It's like hard as a rock. Um, so I go, I buy it. I believe I took the bus here and then my plan was to call an Uber to get home. I remember being insanely sad and just like miserable. Anyway, I bought the couch and I call an Uber and this guy shows up in like the equivalent of like a Nissan Micra, like a tiny car. And he just looks at the box and is like, that's not gonna fit in my car. And I was like, but what, uh, please. Like I was 18, I was so alone. It's the kind of thing where I was just like, I need my dad. Like it was horrible. Um, so the guy cancels on me tells me to call an uber xl so i do and a woman comes in a van she was like an older woman and she looks at my box and was like i'll drive you where you need to go but i'm not lifting that and i was like what uh so she refused to help me i had to lift i think i got someone's help here and lift it into the back of her van she drives me home and she's like i'm not helping you bring this to like your door like sorry and i think i was in the back of the car like trying not to cry because i just felt so alone and like useless um and i don't know how i got that from the back door into my apartment i remember pushing it down the hallway i probably like slid it down the stairs and i remember getting it into my apartment and sitting down and just crying and i didn't install it i don't think until camilla came home like I, it was horrible so that was the last time I came to Ikea by myself. Today we're gonna have way more fun. I'm so excited. It's hot in here. Let's go to Ikea and we'll get a cinnamon bun and maybe a coffee and we're gonna have so much fun. Yay, let's go. Okay, it's so busy. I thought I was like coming in the middle of the week, but it's packed. So we're gonna do the whole showroom, but I think most of the stuff that I need is downstairs. I just love a, I just love going through the whole thing. Let's go. Let's see if that infamous couch is here. Okay, it was like an old, different version of this and it would like fold out, but you guys can see it's really small and like anyway it was it was just like their cheapest couch and it was horrible so i'm looking for something like this but with a lid i feel like that's a bit too expensive for what this is i feel like when you come to ikea it's so important that you have a list and a budget which I have both of those. I have my budget, I'm doing it in cash from like this joined kind of cash savings that JS and I do for the home. So I have that in my purse and then my budget, uh, my list is on my phone. Okay, this is like exactly what I need. I need some office storage solution. This is only 20 bucks, but it's not super cute and I don't like that you can see inside it. I'm leaning more towards something like this to just hide. Oh my God, with the bins. Okay, this is perfect, $129, just the one. It's not too clunky. I feel like it could look good. This tall one is nice too, but I don't think I need this tall. This is like too much storage. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this and then I might get some of these bins. And the best part is like whatever you don't end up needing, you can just return. So I think we're gonna go for this guy. Okay, Impulse, I'm obsessed with this tiny tray for like having coffee on the couch or a little snack. It's so cute or bringing outside like onto the balcony. I took a photo of this, $15. Okay, big news, Gene approved the storage things. Gene wishes he was like a minimalist, like he wants to live in a house totally minimal. Problem is, he doesn't live with a minimalist, so we need storage, and it's really hard to get him to like be on the same page with me, but he approved those drawers. Yay! We're about to walk through the kids section, and this section just gets me every time because it's too cute, so we gotta keep our head down. Like, stop, this was my dream room as a kid. Oh, look, speaking of dream room, it's the drawers that I'm gonna buy, so must be a sign. 
Okay, why is this such a good idea? A little air purifier? I'm kind of down. I feel like I feel like I need one. <laughs> we made it through the showroom. Time for the fun part. Okay, this was something else on the list that I really needed, these under the bed storage solutions. These are perfect for like clothes or linens, towels, and they're super cheap. I found this one that's a bit more sturdy, but it's also quite a bit more expensive. It depends what size that's for. But this one's really nice too. But honestly, it's just going under the bed, so forget it. We really badly need a new garbage can. Ours is disgusting. The problem is in our kitchen, there's like not a lot of room. So I feel like this, this is all we're gonna be able to fit. And this is, this is not the right lid. <laughs> is it this? Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, that's actually perfect. Okay, I found this basket and this one. I'm gonna try them both and I'm gonna return whichever doesn't work. Okay, and now we've made it to desk organization heaven, these little bins. Oh, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> got the air purifier and a filter i'm gonna decide at the cash if i'm actually gonna take it you're kidding me you're kidding me it's completely empty like most of the trip revolved around this purchase <laughs> and it didn't even cross my mind that they could be sold out <sighs> i'll see if there's a way that I can just order it online, but like delivery from Ikea is weird, so I'm probably gonna have to come back here. That's so disappointing. Okay, tell me why me like having a Coke literally feels like I'm doing drugs. Like it feels like I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I'm like actually having an addiction. Like I have an addiction to this. I spoke about this in my last vlog, but I had like one Coke a day when I was in France and it just, it hit so good. I had Coke, I had coffee, like I had so much caffeine on vacation that still it's been almost two weeks now that I'm back. I'm like still going through the caffeine withdrawal. I mean, obviously I'm going through it still because I keep drinking caffeine, but I'm trying to be less of a complainer and I just, I'm trying to be more positive in general because I know that I can be a bit of a complainer. I know that I can be a little bit dramatic. I feel like it's kind of part of my personality, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It's just like good to be positive. And I'm just like, oh, oh, and the, the best kicker part, you guys, is that Air Canada emailed me back. If you guys saw the kind of saga with my flight being canceled and they're refusing to refund me. So I had to buy a ticket like out of pocket because my original flight got canceled. $700 for me, $700 for my sister. I put them both on my credit card and they're refusing to refund me. So it's not over. I'm going to keep contesting this and I'm going to see with my credit card if there's anything that we can do but it was just like i feel like this week i've just been having kind of bad luck like just these annoying things keep happening not life ruining you know obviously there's worse things that could happen in life but just like these little irritating things that make you feel like you're having bad luck and like every day i keep being like okay we're gonna be positive today and then like another annoying thing happens and another and another so 
I was driving home, I had that email, I was feeling so frustrated. And this is what was getting me through the drive home. I was like, when you get home, you get to have a little Coke and relax. And it like, it's literally like my cigarette, you know, like my stress reduction cigarette. Here we are. Anyways, I'm just laughing it off. I know everything's gonna be fine. And something that I'm trying to work on is when these frustrating things happen, when you're stuck in traffic, when things don't go your way is like, you're allowed to be annoyed. And I think it's a human reaction. And when people tell you to just be positive, no matter what, I don't know how realistic that is. But what I wanna do for myself and like, I know I've grown a lot because there was a time where this whole afternoon would have literally just made me cry out of frustration. But what I want to keep working on is removing the anger out of it. So you're allowed to be annoyed, you're allowed to be pissed off, but that like deep anger within you and then that anger translates to like, oh, why is this happening to me and poor me, blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm trying to move away from. And I have to say, I did do a pretty good job of that this afternoon. Just trying to like let it roll off of me like, oh, it is what it is. Like I'm at the grocery store. Why is a bottle of olive oil $30? And I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. I could get back in my car and drive to the more affordable grocery store, but we need olive oil tonight and I've been in my car all day. So it is what it is. So yeah, anyway, I'm happy to be home. I'm gonna show you guys my Ikea haul and I'm gonna show you, I think we're gonna do the kitchen. So there are three areas you guys will see in the haul. There's three areas that I purchased for, kitchen, office, and bedroom. I'm like so tired, so I think we're just gonna do the kitchen today and I wanna get Jean's reaction because I bought a few options. Anyway, you guys will see. I'm gonna make a little yogurt bowl because I'm so hungry. And I'm gonna grab my book and go sit outside. Okay, one nice thing is I got some beautiful Quebec strawberries on sale. I'm gonna just give them a wash. I feel like you guys saw a lot of what I got like while I was shopping because I just couldn't shut up. But let's do a little haul really quick. I'm super excited by everything that I got. So I got three, three of these under the bed storage. I got, where's the third one? Anyways, I got three different sizes, like small, medium, and the large one is in the car. These I feel like are just so good to have. Putting things away under the bed is such a good use of space, I feel. We got two options for the garbage can. So our under the sink area is really small. I got a bigger option and a smaller one. We will see what fits. I didn't really take the best measurements before I left, but the big one, it's cool because it has this like lifting lid. The other one, it lifts like the whole lid comes over. So we're gonna try and see what fits. I got three, three different basket options for this problem area in our kitchen. Basically we have like a charging station in the kitchen and all of the wires are just like running amok on our countertop and it looks really bad. So option one is these little baskets. There's two in here. I feel like I'm gonna end up returning this one. This is option two, which I like, but I don't think JS is gonna like because it doesn't have a lid. Personally too, I wish it had a lid, but I feel like this is the best because it's just big and you can throw everything in. But I feel like this like wicker is not his style, so we'll see. The last option, I actually like this one too, is these two little boxes that stack. So you can easily hide the cords in here. And then when something's actually charging, you could like, let's say our phone is charging or Apple Watch or whatever, you can just leave it on top right here. So I feel like these are good options as well. Then I got a bunch of these little containers. These ranged from 25 cents to a dollar each. And I was hoping to have my drawers already. Like I was hoping to set up the drawers tonight and then be able to stick this stuff in. But my thinking with these is like, I got one of these little trays for each of my cameras. So we'll be able to put the camera in here and its respective like charging cord. And just, I have so much gear for YouTube tripods and stuff. And then also with my desk, like now that I'm in the stationary business with my planner, um, I have a lot of notebooks and stuff too that Right now they're all in this media console, but it's not the best place for them. And it's really annoying to get them in and out. I feel like with drawers, I'll just be able to, cause what happens right now is I take stuff out and I don't put it away right away. And it leads to like papers floating all over the apartment. It's been like that since I moved out of my office at the end of February. And yeah, it's just, it makes, 
I feel like when you work from home, you kind of want to see work as little as possible or you really want to be able to contain it so that when you're just sitting on the couch, you're not also staring at this pile of papers that you have to deal with, at least, at least I don't. Now I did get this little splurging tray. I just thought it was so cute and you guys know how I am with like my morning routine and stuff. I love to have tea and journal and yeah, it was just so cute. And then I think I showed you guys, but I did get the air purifier. I'm just gonna stick it. Literally that little kid's room, like display room inspired me. So I've been wanting an air purifier for a while and I think this will be so good just to have next to the desk. So that is my haul. All of this came to, I think it was about $170 and I had a $340 budget. So it's perfect because the drawers, I'm gonna just order them online. I'll go pick them up and then whatever I return, I'll be able to return at the same time as picking up the drawers. Okay, so this is really gross and I'm gonna just show you as little as possible, but our garbage can is so disgusting. I actually think it's the guy who lived here before. I think he left it. And the thing is, this is the sink and it comes down really low which leaves like not a lot of space. I think there's like 20 inches max under here. So, oh God, you guys, I'm so embarrassed. It's so disgusting. You know what though? This is the, <laughs> this shit people don't show you on YouTube. And I feel like I watch people on YouTube and like their house just always looks pristine and so clean. And I'm like, I'm like, what's wrong with me that the inside cabinets get dirty and it's just like no everyone's get dirty it's just no one is weird enough to show you they're under the sink cabinet so here we go we're cleaning it so this i hate it so much the other problem though is all of the plumbing it means it's not very deep so i actually let's see if this fits Ugh, it doesn't no it's like an inch too much. I would have to put it this way. Okay. I had a feeling it wasn't going to fit. Let's try the smaller one. Yeah, the smaller one's perfect. And then this can still go there. I guess like the good thing about having a smaller garbage can is it forces you to take out the trash more often so then it doesn't get like so disgusting. So this is the horrible problem area. Like you guys can see, it's just a mess. And like, why is there protein powder here? <laughs> I keep my vitamins here. Like what is going on? So we just need to contain this and kind of get it out of sight. my camera is gonna die so we have to make Do it quick make this is option a mm -hmm. but it requires extra work because we have to like take out the lid whatever but it's good because we can put things side by side if something's charging you can like rest it on top oh they come together yeah they come together like this so you can stack them or have them side by side but there's still like some clutter not everything fits just pretend everything fits into. And if we have extra crap, like why is this here? I just need to keep you to finish it. Yeah, but in the meantime, like we can hide it in here and then everything, boom. Gone, hidden. Okay, so you like these? The, it's clean. We just have to, you know, when so we're not in use. I even got down. the colors to match. Yeah, it, it's gray and whatever, white. Blue, blue and white. Yeah. I just find this is like a good basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have an office. <laughs> You're fired. You're fired.
Monday. It's been a few days and I just wanted to do like a tiny little catch up with you guys wrap up this video I was feeling really negative. I was feeling really like angry and just put out like the whole Air Canada thing um, It's like so much money and blah 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 blah. Anyways, I was not feeling my best So I didn't want to pick up the camera and vlog. I haven't touched the closet I do have the drawers which you may have seen but I'll tell you guys about that in a second um, but basically we're going to do a part two of this vlog because I really want to give it like, I want to have fun when I'm doing these swaps and I want to like make a really great video for you guys. So I wasn't able to do that over the weekend. Um, but I did want to tell you guys about what I did to kind of pick myself back up because I think it's very life makeover -y and I am feeling so good now, like truly so good because of these steps that I took. So like I said, Friday, not feeling really great, feeling just really angry about the Air Canada thing, feeling really overwhelmed. I had so much on my plate um, and I still do, but it's more manageable now. And I think kind of life is like about finding that balance. Like we're always going to be busy. I sometimes think that I chase this feeling of like finishing certain things and then it's like, oh, it's done and I can breathe. But always new things are going to come on our plate. And I think it's about finding systems and finding ways to keep up with everything, to not let things get too piled up because I know for me when they overpile, that's when I like I really feel it on my shoulders and I feel like I say this a lot in my videos, but things will literally weigh on my shoulders and it's like I need to get them off. So Saturday too, I was like feeling like crap and we had a really busy, like really social day. And then we also had a busy day planned for Sunday. I was supposed to go with JS. He had like a work event and I was supposed to go with him. And Saturday night I was just like, is it okay if I stay home? Like I could really use half a day to just get my shit together and like call Air Canada back call American Express, like deal with this ticket. And I know like I'm making a big deal about this whole ticket situation, but we're talking like in the, like they kind of owe me like close to $2,000. Like it's a lot of money, you know what I mean? So I just needed time to deal with it. I had a huge, I still do, <laughs> but I had a huge backlog of videos um, to edit, blah, blah, okay, whatever. I'm going way too into the specifics. You guys don't care, but I just had this stuff that I needed to do. And I was like, I knew that if I took the morning to get it done, I would feel so much better and it would be like one and two things off of my shoulders. So I woke up really early on Sunday, <laughs> edited a video, got it done. Then I sat down at my kitchen table and I called American Express and I called Air Canada and, and everything is not resolved, but I made some really good strides. Basically, Air Canada finally reimbursed me for the canceled flight. The time that they canceled my flight, they basically told me, I called them, they told me they were gonna reimburse me and then two weeks went by and I never got a reimbursement. I called them back. The lady this time was so nice and helpful and I got my reimbursement for my canceled flight. So uh, that's a lot better. I'm still out $700 times two because of the new tickets that I had to buy. And at the airport, they told me they were gonna reimburse me for that. Now they're telling me they're not but I'm not done fighting. Um, I filed a claim with my credit card and that relieved a lot of the pressure because American Express is so good, honestly. Like, first of all, you call customer service, you do not wait on hold. Like they pick up right away and they're always very kind and helpful. So what they did was while we're disputing the claim, they put a temporary credit on my credit card so that I don't have to pay this $1,400 out of pocket, which like, I don't really have that money sitting around. I would have to take it from my emergency fund. Um, so that alleviates a lot of the stress of me having to pay for these tickets and then fight backwards. I kind of can have a little break while we fight. So that made me feel so much better. Like I truly felt this weight come off my shoulders and it was incredible. And then I was able to do like a power hour of cleaning in the house, tidied everything up, 
so good and I felt like a new person. Like that was like the life makeover feeling that I needed. The little things that I bought from Ikea have made such a difference. Like you guys saw in the kitchen, there's no more cords lying around on our counter. Like it's actually cute. I was able to order the drawers for click and collect and JS went and picked them up for me yesterday and he installed it for me yesterday and that's great. The other thing, oh my gosh, you guys, the garbage cans. One thing you need to know about me is I am not an engineer. I'm very impatient. And when it comes to building furniture or setting things up, like I'm like, oh, it doesn't fit, okay. And then later that night, JS and I were looking at it and he was like, well, if you put this there and you move this, like I was actually able to make both garbage cans fit. So we have the big one for garbage and we're able to use the smaller one for recycling. And it's so clean under there. It looks so much better. And something as silly as a garbage can, <laughs> can make you feel lighter and better. And it's such a small change. The small garbage can was like $8. The big one was like 14 and it makes you feel better. So, so worth it, so good. We set up the drawers and I just kind of shoved a bunch of shit in there. I, I do want to properly organize it, but I'm going to wait and do that in part two of this vlog. But just getting some of the clutter out of sight, again, getting the admin things off my shoulders. I woke up this morning feeling Fantastic. And then I did my morning routine, which is another like amazing life makeover -y feeling, doing my agenda, doing my journaling, the things that just make me feel so good. And then to keep up with that feeling is about keeping the habit of doing it every day or most days, because I feel like the more I journal, the better I feel, even if it's half a page, one page, sometimes, most of the time I'm just journaling about like what's on my plate for the day. Um, or I'll talk about just kind of like how I'm feeling, like it's nothing too deep but it makes me feel good um we also rearranged the balcony we like restructured our chairs so now it's in an l instead of like two loungers because we never really use them as loungers and just we put some plants outside like all these tiny changes i'm so hot like i guess you guys can see it like i feel so much lighter i'm so ready to take on the day and i did my little monday morning admin routine and now, yeah, it's time to just get on with the work day. Last little thing I wanted to show you guys, we went to this store called Zone. Sorry, there's dog hair everywhere. Went to this store called Zone and got some new Swedish dishcloths. I first tried the dishcloths, Swedish dishcloths from True Earth, and I love them. They just make tidying up like so nice and easy, but they do like, the True Earth ones are this color, and they eventually get really, really stained. You throw them in the washing machine, but like when they're that stained, you're kind of like, oh, they were starting to like, they're starting to like gross me out a little bit. And I've had them for well over a year now. So it was time to get new ones and it's sweet because they're compostable. So the true earth ones, we just can put them in the compost and we got some cute pattern ones from this brand, Ecology, <laughs> Ecology, <laughs> Ecology, <laughs> Danica. Um, you can find these at like any little home store, lemons, flowers, and birds. We also got a new print from the bedroom from Zone. We saw it up on the wall and we just were both like, we need that. We haven't installed it or anything, but I'll show you guys on the screen uh, what it looks like. So yeah, just really in like little home fixer upper mode. Because I'm home so much, because I work from home, like it just, it really, really helps when the home feels light and clean and tidy, makes such a difference. So yay, so happy to be ending this video on this note. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I feel like this was like a long chatty uh, vlog, but I hope you enjoyed the life makeover -y feeling. I will start part two this week. It's gonna be the next vlog that you see most likely. And that's that, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I think it's time that I stopped talking. Like, honestly, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm looking at the little clock on my camera. I meant to just sit down and like end this video in two minutes, but like it's been 11 minutes that I'm filming, so bye. <laughs>